welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much. And Up he gets! This could fall anywhere! Remio, do you seem to have a particular identity, Jim? How do you assess it? Yeah, I think possession is key to their, their whole game. They've just got to avoid a bad habit they're very aware of and not get too elaborate. Remio have been showing their creativity through the middle, something uh, I've noticed a lot more of in the last, say, dozen games or so. it over to the other flank. Now they could break here. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of... Yeah, he's fouled him there. Riccati. Bordas. Vrani, Jarvis, timely intervention. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. And here's Palacio. Tries to stroke it through. And it's got through. Out of play for a goal kick. A buccaneering run from the defender. That's not the ball he wanted. Hoists it forward. Tries to switch the play. Still goalless. Good idea, just poorly executed. It's the through chance! He scored! And Boca Juniors take the lead! So we have our breakthrough. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. with the slide tackle there. Jarvis. And that has been clubbed away. There's a long ball. Parada. Castle Dine. And he's made sure that that won't get through. And it's Felcao. 
Right through the middle. Oh, terrible mistake. Forward it goes. Jarvis takes control of it and he's on the move. Tries to get it forward quickly. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Be the final action of the first half. And here we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Boca Juniors come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. There is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. So we're just settling back into this second half. Boca Juniors really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're going to go on and secure this. And it's played forward. Falcao. What an adventurous run from a defender. Clears it out of harm's way. Hoists it forward. And the weighted pass. Palacio looking to get on the end of this. Oh, where he sorted that out. Boca Juniors really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. Jarvis, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. A real chance to break. Jarvis, pinged one through here. Gremio are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Bordas. Some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. A warm ovation on his way off, and that is the least he deserves. I think he's put in a good shift, and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he can feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Chavez. Castledine. Castledine! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. So, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Jarvis. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that.
Soric does well to read it and intercepts. Jarvis. A real chance. Of... It's Falcao! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stopped. That was created because of good, lively movement, which pretty much dictated the pass. He's looked long this time. And he's there to cut it out. Boca Juniors are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Redmond. Gremio are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Palacio. Five minutes left on the clock. Boca Juniors just have to run down the clock. Now it's Falcao. Jarvis hits one! Appearance and very necessary. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue the situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. And that will be the final act. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it. But that was enough. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable. But you can't expect to get your way all the time. I think it was a win earned through game management. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I think we're just about out of time. So many thanks to Jim and a very good afternoon to you.